by seeing this gauges i hope you are able to know that uh, we are doing the shape test of the course aggregate so in the transportation engineering the elongation index and the flake index are the two utmost important thing to determine the shape test of the course aggregate so before this uh, starting this experimentation work what is the requirement for conducting the flakiness index or the elongation index why is the need of the requirement of, to find the flakiness index or elongation index for example for particular construction part for laying of roads the main material which was nothing but the coarse aggregate which was used for our construction part if it was not having the specified flakiness index or the elongation index the roads may fail due to the continuous loads of the vehicle so we all know that the abrasion value impact value and crushing value of the aggregate need to be important for the aggregate so with respect to do that values the flakiness index and the elongation index are the utmost important thing to determine the aggregate shape so this is nothing but the flakiness index gauge and this is nothing but the elongation index gauge which were used to determine the shape of the aggregate so by the help of the students will be conducting the flakiness index and the elongation index so the flakiness index or the elongation index should not be more than 15% of the aggregate which you have selected for the construction part and the combination of the flakiness index and the elongation index should not be more than the 30% of the uh, specific value which the aggregate was used for the construction part so the 15% and the 30% are the utmost important for the construction part uh, before starting this video if you are new to the channel please do subscribe our channel elegant corner and click on the bell icon you will be getting the notification after posting the video